So the dollar store is a point of contention for some people. Uh, kind of the one of the origins of this whole debate is with me and Alicia, and her mom would buy this <clears throat> nail polish remover from there. And Alicia went to use it, and it didn't work at all. It didn't dissolve the nail polish at all. It was basically stinky water. So she's like, Mom, don't buy this stuff. It doesn't work. It's crap. And she's like, but it's only a dollar. It's like, yeah, but, you know, what value does something at any price that does not fulfill its function at all, what is it worth? Well, it's not worth a dollar. So, but we go back and forth because I contend that there are some things that are good at the dollar store. The amount of those things is slowly decreasing um, <laughs> as we discover that they don't work. One that does is aluminum foil. That's good. It's hard to screw that up. But we don't really use it for food. We use it to back up sculptures and stuff. Uh, ones that was proven wrong was I was like, oh, Ziploc bags. Yeah, that, you know, that style stuff. When you pull them apart, the, the, the little Ziploc thing separates. Crap. The, like, little Tupperware stuff, it cracks. Um, it doesn't seal. Crap. Another one, uh, hand sanitizer. I'm like, oh, I'll just get it for you from there. You know, how could they screw that up? Crap. It smells like somebody's butt. Nasty. Uh, and the most recent one, Alicia has to travel for work a lot. Um, or infrequently. A couple of times, a few times a year. And she likes to bring the travel size lotions and stuff, but she likes to use her lotion and her uh, shampoo and stuff. So she asked me to get her the little container. So I go to the dollar store. How could they screw that up? Crap. Crappy crap crap. So she's going on a trip tomorrow. She's going to be gone for two days and I'm going to be sad. I'm going to be sad missing my honey. Yeah, maybe I'll watch some. TV thing that she doesn't like that much. So anyway, anyway, I went and bought her this. It's a little 12 piece travel kit. It's got the pump pump spray and the the squeeze lotion for her. And then this, um, I don't know what this is. Ah. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> All right, squeeze lotion. There's this, like a little funnel. And then a scraper to get out the last bits. That's handy. And then this little tub. And then look how cute this is. It's got little labels for her. Neat. Alright, so that's that. I just wanted to show you guys that. Tomorrow is the Pecha Kucha event. If any of you are in San Jose tomorrow, down by 1st Street, around 7 p.m. is when it kicks off. Uh, you should really come. It's really fun. It's like... Uh, PowerPoint karaoke. I'm going to be presenting sort of my history and love affair with movies. And you, each person gets 20 slides, 20 seconds per slide. So I've got my slideshow ready. I just need to practice what I'm going to say. <clears throat> but if any of you are in San Jose, please come. It'll be fun. Started working on my little one of my little sculpture guys here. I don't know if you can see him. This is an expression. He's uh, woeful. He's all, oh, sad. Oh. But yeah, so these guys uh, hold form pretty well. Well, no, they actually don't hold form pretty well, but they're pretty expressive. The tough thing is these skinny limbs, once I start working with it, uh, they start melting. Or not melting, but get, getting soft and won't hold their shape. So that's a new challenge. I'm pretty much going to have to work on these at home. Um... I could work at the foundry. The reason I have to work at home is so that I could put them in the freezer so that the wax can stiffen up. I could do that at the foundry, but there's way too many other people's crap from last semester. Get your stuff out of the freezer. Chris, Trinidad, your little A-wing fighters. I know those are yours. There's a bunch of other stuff nobody claims, but uh, so maybe, maybe I'll start a ruckus about it at the foundry this Friday. Friday. So I'm working on scholarships. Listen, when you think of, if any of you are working on scholarships, don't think of scholarships as free money. Because it's not. The application process is horrible and rough and that's what you're paying. So if you're going to work on a scholarship, work on it because it takes work. Alright, see you tomorrow.